Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and my elf friends and my coffee and my Ray Dunn aunt mug because, you know, truth in advertising, I'm an aunt. I'm freezing. I don't have the fireplace on right now because I've been running up and down the stairs doing all the things. Okay, I got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And it's kind of exciting. And then I have another Dollar Tree haul over there because I'm trying to break them up so they're not super long. But let's get started. I found some gray towels. Um, I use these, if you see behind me, my couch is gray. I use them on my chair, like my grandma, on my um, ha hand rests because the cat like to lay there and they they don't mean to but they scratch with their claws and they get fur and so I have a couple sets of gray and I think I'm using black right now just to protect my new sofa and I mean my new chair from my rotten animals all right I got the hat but it doesn't fit my head so it makes me sad I better take these off before they drive y'all nuts but I'll show you it does not, it doesn't go on my head. So if you have a little head, this is perfect. If not, well, I'll have to do some crafting with it because I do enjoy the pom-pom. And quite frankly, I can make this a gnome. I know. Because it's not going to fit my head. Now, we got the pets. <laughs> I got the cats. A Santa outfit. I thought it would fit Alex, but he's just too thick. It doesn't fit him. I put it on Wellington. He hates it. He acts like he's having some kind of stroke or something and rolls around on the floor. Uh, we'll see if it fits Luna Dog. But if not, it's adorable. And they're not bad quality. They're just, this is a large and it does not fit my cat. It fits the skinny cat, the 10 pounder. And it would probably go up to like a 12 pound cat. But other than that, Alex said no. He was not allowing me to do that to him. And then I found these. Look at them. In the black and white buffalo check, or gray, I guess. And then the black and red. And these are just dog poop bags for Sarah. So she can be festive at Christmas time when she's walking that rotten dog. So I'll give those to her now. They will not go in her. We may go with her advent calendar. I possessed it's my garland or my fall beads they just fell on me we'll keep moving um I found one more of these shirts in my size in the red I'm super excited for this they're nice and big for sleeping or loungewear for me I'm thinking I'm gonna put iron on something and I have red and black buffalo check leggings that I also use as loungewear and so I just made myself a little set I mean, that's how I roll. So I will wash it first before I iron on to it. But for a dollar, you can't beat it. Um, I did grab a couple more of these fake security cameras to make Santa cams. And I will show you in my vlog for Monday so you will have seen. I'm going to cut the vinyl today on my Cricut and then I'll show you how I attach it to these. And I believe somewhere in this mess I have batteries because I want to test it out with the red light. So I'm going to make five total. I picked up these, which are Roll High 75% ethyl alcohol wet wipes. These are cleaning wipes, not wet wipes, not like diaper wipes. But I do leave these in my bathroom. And when I go in in the morning or in the evening or whatever, I just freshen up. I can just pop a wipe, wipe down surfaces, especially if I've had people over. Um, my bathroom down here, I like to clean before they come, but then after, um, you know, just go through a little, these are just a quick cleanup. You don't want to flush these. I put them in my trash when I'm done, but they're nice to have just for a quick cleanup. And there, you get a hundred wipes. So I have, I bought two, one for the upstairs bathroom and one for down here. So I did that. Um, I finally found these lights with the green boxwood. Yes, they're marked for Christmas, but I feel like these would work any time of the year. I just got one. They also came in gold, but for me, I just needed the one. So I grabbed 
just one. And I do need some batteries for all those things. But that's for Christmas. Um, they came out with the buckets, which we do every year. But I'm sorry, Dollar Tree. Who are you? Look at that. Holiday cheer, Christmas wishes, seasons, greetings. And it's double-sided. What? I think this would be perfect to fill up with the little fake snowballs. If you have a small area, you could put a plant in here. There's a million things you could do with these little tins. Candy for a gift and then put it in a cello bag or put a cello bag of candy in it, whatever. Um, they had three or four different designs. I just got the one because that's all I need, right? I don't need a hundred things. Um, I did pick up these fun little Noel Let It Snow Peace Joy bags for some small gifting. I'll show you what I made during my vlog. The one bag has all the glitter on it, but I probably will not use that for this gift. And I just need two small bags. But I think these are fantastic, especially if you're doing like a small gift. And look at the side, there's the plaid. And they have all difference of these little sets of bags. And you can you get three for $1. And I think that's great for gift wrapping. And they're a decent quality. Sorry, I am stuffy. I am not COVID. I am allergy ridden. Um, I picked up one more of these for my travel bucket because I need these when I air fly. Air fly? When I fly on the airplane. These are fantastic and I love that they're blow up and I've tried it and they're great. And you just, when you're sleeping on the plane. And I wanted, I have a travel bin and I'm just going to throw these in because I, for a dollar, I don't know how good they're going to be. And if I will get more than one trip out of them, kind of is my thought. Um, I grabbed another set of these, but not to, I mean, I'll use them for my crafting, bit, for crafting stuff. And these are great. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm making a, the flat round signs, but I don't want to attach the wreath or the bow and the greenery because I want to flip them. So I was thinking of attaching some the greenery, wire it to one of these, and then I can just clip it to the top of the sign. And then when I want to flip it to the next season, I can take this off, maybe make a new bow or something, and then just clip it on. Genius, right? And so I just grabbed a pack. You get six of them in here. Um, and I use them for crafting all the time. So whatever I don't use for this project, I'll just throw in with my other ones. But for a dollar, and I thought it was pretty fantastic idea. I thought at first using clothespins, but I feel like these clamps um, are going to be a little tighter and hold on a little better. So that was just my thought. I will let you know when I try it and show you if it works. Um, I got some oven bags. Um, these are nice for cleanup purposes. They had two sizes, two of the big ones, and or if you're getting smaller product, you have a four pack. I got the two packs. I do have a pretty large ham in my freezer that needs to get cooked up at some point. For Thanksgiving, I'm going to my brother's, Sarah's dad, the guy on the air freshener. We are going to their house on Christmas. They're coming to the cabin that we rented on Christmas or I'm sorry, we're going to their house for Thanksgiving. But then Sarah and I are coming back here and we're going to do some movie watching and some holiday crafting that I got us. But, so I'm not gonna cook the ham for the holidays, but while they, all that to say, while they had it in the store, I went ahead and bought it because these are great for quick cleanup. Apparently I'm chatty Kathy today. Who knew? Um, on the gift wrap route oh my god tell me these tags are not everything like this is it this is all i'm gonna need for christmas and you get 25 of them like what and look at the elf look at the elf and santa my favorite elf santa these two that one open is okay but i love the and they're shiny they're shiny and foily so I decided I don't need a ton of gift wrap this year. So I'm trying to just get a few things um, like these. This is, these are basket bags for gift baskets. And I have the cat's gift basket that I'm doing. And these just had candy canes on them. And I thought they were fun for Marie and Mabel, my 
brother's new kittens that are gonna be a year old soon, but I got them a bunch of stuff for Christmas and I wanna wrap it in a gift bag so that when they get home, they can just open it up and let the cats have, have their way with it. I got for myself, this is a very dry skin face mask from e.l.f. I have very dry skin. And this has hyaluronic acid, I believe. It's hydrating, yes, hydrating water sheet mask enriched with hyaluronic acid and aloe to nourish and moisturize. So we're gonna try this maybe tonight. Um, my skin is just really dry, so I try to get moisturizing masks. And e.l.f. is a great brand. So I thought I would try this for me. I bought the other e.l.f. ones as gifts, but I'm the, I'm the dry skin in the family that needs those. Um, please, please look at this wonderful scarf, but it's sparkly and look at the snowflakes. And this is going to go fantastic with my winter decor. I may just tie this around a pillow. I mean, seriously, or use it as like a, a mantle scarf or on the table behind me or just tie a big bow with it. I don't know. I love the navy. I love navy. And I love the sparkle that it has. Now it is just on the one side, the sparkle. It's white on the other side. But isn't that everything? I love it. Super excited to see what I can come up. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm leaning on the table behind me and I'm pulling everything at me. And I have a lit candle. Let's be careful, please, shall we? I've leaned forward. Just pretend like it's nice and tidy behind me. I found this fantastic little gift set. They had a couple different ones, but you get the toe se separator, a little avocado nail file, a full-size avocado, a nail brush, nail clippers, and then a couple cuticle cutter and a cuticle pusher. Like that is a fantastic deal for a dollar. Just to keep, for like a little stocking or a little add-on and they have all different, but you really get everything you need to do a pedicure. And that's why it's called a pedicure set, in case you needed to know. They had a couple different ones, but I just thought this one was totes adorbs. So I bought that. We'll use it, I will use it because I will do my own. Um, oh, what do I got? Jingle bells. I grabbed the 50 pack. I want to make a couple um, napkin rings and this is the perfect size for that. You just need a pipe cleaner or some floral wire and some jingle bells and you make it as, you know, as round as you want and then you just tie it off and you can slide your napkins through. So I'm thinking I'm going to make a couple napkin rings from the jingle bells and I don't think I have that size. This is Beauty Guru Natural Bright Skin Serum with Rosehip Oil. And again, I'm dry and I'm trying to figure out um, this is very liquidy. I'm trying to just find some products to hydrate my skin. Smells good. Oh, oh yeah. This is going to be lovely before bed. It's got an oil. Oh, guys, it's nice. Okay, I gotta stop rubbing it on, but I got a lot on my hand here. But it's got an oil base to it. I only saw one of these, but it feels so nice. It feels nice. Um, jojoba, rosehip, carrot seed, turmeric, sandalwood, geranium, yang yang, lang lang, and coconut oil. It's like a cornucopia of moisturization. Um, so I will use that and I'll get back to you on how it works, but I can tell you right now, it feels pretty amazing on my dry skin. My skin is so dry, I can feel it when it gets tight, right? So that feels fantastic. I'm glad I found that and maybe I'll see if I have any others. Um, I found these two chairs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I feel like they would be super cute painted in like a Santa next to them or even in a tear tray. I don't know, as a, as a riser with something sitting on it. I'm not sure, but I thought they were adorable and I need to spray paint them probably black if I had to guess. 
I'm not doing it right now. It's, but I thought those would be fun for my tiered tray for Christmas. <gasps> Ooh, look what I found for my door. I have the white buffalo check one, but this is the black. Fun fact, when Miss Luna comes to visit and I have this on the door, she bats the, rate, the bells when she wants to go outside. It's very ingenious of her mother to teach her that. So I put this on the door to my garage and when she wants to potty, she rings the bell and then I know she needs to go outside. Plus they're fun colors. I like them. We'll keep them. Right? Right. Ooh, I got these for my friend. I forgot to give them to her, but they are just the Snugadoo slipper socks with the um, rubber grips on the bottom, but they're obviously leopard print. Leopard? I think that's leopard. Animal print, and she will love them. So I grabbed those for her. Um, yeah, I love these. I wear them all the time because my feet get cold. All right, here's some stuff I got for my... Okay, I'm having a holiday party at my clubhouse for work, we think, COVID pending. And I'm having, we're having a coffee hot cocoa bar at the cabin we're renting for Christmas. So I kind of got all this stuff for both. So these are just to labels. Maybe if I want to put a cheese tray out, we can note, put in here what's in it. And if you see, you can poke it down into something. So I grabbed those. And then two packs of these that I can just write or crick it hot cocoa, tea, coffee, sweetener, peppermint, whatever. And then you can, these are on clothespins, but you can easily pop them off and probably what I'll do is tie some string around them and hang them on the jars. Or even put a touch of glue and glue them to the jar. And then when I'm done, it peels right off. So I grabbed two of those and one of these just for like different holiday entertaining if I ever get to entertain again. Same thing for these. These, you get 24 little silver forks and spoons. And these are fantastic for charcuterie boards or any type of appetizer. Just a little spoon and a little fork and you can reach and grab and people aren't touching things. And they're pretty decent quality. So I grabbed one of each. Let's do our thumbnail. Oh. Guys, I've lost my marble. Speaking of... I grabbed some of the red bird peppermints because I feel like these, I'm trying to find things that are individually wrapped for our coffee hot chocolate bar. And I feel like these will melt really well in hot cocoa or coffee and um, they're individually packaged. So instead of candy canes, which I know I can get individually packaged, but I just thought these would be a better option for the hot cocoa bar. So I grabbed two bags, one for the party, one for the house. Um, and then people can eat them. People like these, they're good. And then also I picked up sweet Christmas marshmallows. So these are snowmen, candy canes, and Christmas trees, but I believe they're not flavored. These are just plain marshmallows. And these will go into a jar. And yeah, I probably should grab one more to take up to the house because I don't think these will keep once I open them, but I'll grab another package. And then for the snack bar at my Christmas cottage, we got I got just some Muddy Buddy Chex Mix. So if somebody wants those, and this is good until August of next year. But just a little bag. And again, we're trying to stick with the individually packaged stuff so everybody's not touching and putting their hands, um, you know, with COVID protocols. Just try to keep things as tidy as we can since we're going to be having some people in and out. Now, everybody who's coming is fully vaccinated, but that doesn't mean they don't have the COVID. And I don't want the COVID. So we're going with prepackaged, a lot of prepackaged stuff. And then I got some Hershey Nuggets because I think I want to do a little DIY with these for a little holiday gift. And I don't need a big bag. And you get six pieces in here, which will be perfect for one person. So, yes, I'm aware that maybe this is not the most cost-effective way to purchase candy. But when, like, for me, I don't eat the candy. I give it away. I would rather spend a dollar and give somebody an individual serving or package instead of buying the big one. Although I will buy the big one as, as well. 
Um, I grabbed some of these just because look how fun they are. I love crafting with them, but they're the rainbow. And I love that. I craft with these. I use them to stir paint and stuff. But I'm thinking since these are painted, I could do something super fun. I don't know. We'll see. But irrelevant. I need them for crafting. I grabbed myself some of this roasted garlic tuna. It's really good. I've had it before. Name brand, Bumblebee. Um, it is best by March of 2023. And for travel, you get a little spoon up here. A spork to be exact. And these are fantastic, especially like in March, I'm going to Canada, um, Ontario, I think somewhere for a cross stitch retreat. And these will be perfect for my hotel room um, for me to have for like a lunch or a snack. And I don't have to do anything but open them up and I just eat them how they are. So these are great for travel, but also for lunches or whatever. So I grabbed two of those just to have in my stash for now. Um, I grabbed two more of these. I know they're not fantastic for toilets that don't get used, but I only put these in the two toilets that get used on the regular basis. So my bathroom and my bedroom and the bathroom right here and they're flush multiple times a day. So I'm not, the bleach and the whatever is in here is not going to dry out the mechanics because it's constantly, they're always being used. Now the two toilets that I don't frequently use, I just dump bleach into the bowl every couple weeks or month. So I grabbed two more of those because I'm liking them. Um, I grabbed one of these. So if you're doing the advent along with me, we're going to be using this for a countdown calendar. So grab one if you see it in whatever colors you think you might like, but I'm going to paint it and decorate it and then obviously have a Christmas countdown. But for $1, and if you don't want to do like a candy or a gift countdown, but you want something fun, we have one of those. And then I grabbed two Christmas trees. I'm really liking gluing these things together to give them more stability, depending on the project in which I am doing. So I grabbed two. I, I don't know what project I'm doing, so I grabbed two. Questionable. But we need two trees. It's Christmas, right? Right. And then I just have a couple more things. I grabbed some boxes. I love the shape of a box. Um, these are great for if you're gifting like towels, hand towels and stuff, socks, ties, things like that. It's a great size, but also for anything really. I just like the, the compact size that these come in and I liked the print on there. So I grabbed a pack of these and I have some other ones and that's pretty much all I'm buying for that. Um, I got this. This is also for the cocoa bar to sit the Keurig on to keep the mess to a minimum. I should have gotten two. Maybe I won't put the Keurig on it and I'll just put all the fixins on it. So if people spill, it, get, it goes on to this and not on to surfaces. But anyway, that's what this is for, for the bar. Because the one I found in my kitchen, I'm so excited. I'm doing my kitchen and gingerbread men this year, not overdoing it, but doing it. And I walked into the Dollar Tree this morning and I said, I need brown one of these to go with my gingerbread theme. And I was like, I'm not gonna find brown. So if they had like a bright color, yeah, girl, they had brown. I found brown. I was so excited. I'm like, okay, thank you. So um, I haven't changed it out yet, but I will be switching that up for the Christmas season when I get my house in order. I'm a mess right now. Um, they came out with the bigger signs. What? They're not as big as, you know, like the pumpkin ones and all of that. And they're not as small as the little ones. So these are definitely a larger size. And I love making leaning signs on these. And I think this would be fantastic. Stain it, put a white Christmas tree, wrap some jute around the top and call it rustic decor. I think these are fantastic. I love them. And for a dollar, you really can't go wrong on this front. Um, I might save them and do something for spring because I really feel like I need to start thinking about some spring DIYs. And um, I think these would be nice to make a little spring sign, you know, with maybe some pretty flowers or something on it. But these are great for my mantle because I have my TV hung. They're not, they're small and they can lean on either side of the TV or can go on small walls. But 
If you see them, grab them because they're fantastic. Okay, and the last thing I found, and I was so very excited for, and if you watched my video, you already know this, the Christmas tree rings, the collars. I love them. Farm Fresh and Merry Christmas. I love these. I grabbed two of each because I wasn't sure what color I wanted to do. Um, I don't, I don't know if a Dollar Tree Christmas tree it would fit in here. I think it might be too small. But at the Target dollar spot, if you're looking for a smaller Christmas tree, maybe you don't have room in your house, maybe you just want a tabletop tree, they have a three foot tree for $5 in the Target dollar spot. I saw that today. I don't need one, so I didn't pick it up. But um, I think this would fit perfect around that tall tree. I'm going to see how this is going to work with the Dollar Tree and maybe just put some white in here or something. Um, but I may, and I think I have a four foot tree in my basement too. So I may go that route. I'm not sure. But with stuff like this, if you see it, you really just have to pick it up and hope for the best. <laughs> it's kind of how I'm saying. Um, of the five stores I typically go to, I've seen these at two and like one, one of each left. So they're going pretty quickly at my stores. All right, so that, my friends, is everything in this haul. I hope you enjoyed. I will have one more Dollar Tree haul up this week, and then I may put up Christmas. I don't know. I'm kind of getting excited for it, and I'm kind of getting antsy, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic night, and I will talk with you later. Bye.